Over the last few years, battery technology has really changed a lot. In fact, I would say it's only just starting to come into its own. And we've seen the transition from lead acid batteries and AGM batteries to lithium ion batteries and then to lithium ferrous phosphate. And now we've got sodium batteries and there's all kinds of other batteries out there. And I think that the battery technology is just going to continue to advance. And recently, when I was doing a battery review video, there's a company that came to me and said, yeah, you should try out our battery. <laughs> and I'm always a little skeptical when that happens, but after talking to them for a little bit, I thought, that sounds like an interesting battery. Go ahead, send it to me, let me check it out. And frankly, I really had no idea what to expect. Well, they sent me the battery, and it's not what I expected. This little box is a battery. And I'm gonna open this up, find out what's in it, and I can already tell you that apparently all you need is some clean water in order to make it work. Well, we're gonna find out if that's true. Is it really useful for anything? Now, I'll tell you this. I sent an email to Volt Rush and said, oops, I broke your battery. And they said, we can send you a new one right away if you want. And I explained that I'm the one that broke it and they were happy to replace it if I wanted. And I told them, no, actually, I don't see that it's gonna change anything. The only cautionary tale for anyone else looking at these batteries is those little tabs. I think they're fine, except they're a little hard for my big fat fingers to open up. All right, here we go, folks. Let's have a look, see what's in this thing. Now, I will tell you, when I first had a quick look at this and broke it, I was surprised at what I saw because this doesn't look like any battery I've ever seen. Now it has a USB-C input on the back, so I guess you can charge it. And then it has USB-C and A output. Comes apart, and then it comes with this kit here. So we'll take a look at that. And we have a couple things here that say one and two on them. It looks like a reservoir, and that's it, pretty simple. Now I haven't pulled everything out of here, so I'm not really sure what we all have in here. Oh, looks like we've got some sort of plates here, one and two. We've got a bag here. Now I see this as something you'd probably take hiking or have some kind of a you know, little backup for something. You got a strap, looks like some cleaners. All right, okay, what comes in that? Output power of 15 to 25 watts. USB-C charging port, 45 watts, max 30 to 30 volts, compatible with solar panels and power adapters. But with 45 watts, that would be a small solar panel. Uh, let's see, minus 25 Celsius to minus 45 Celsius. So let's see, about minus eight degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. Application, emergency use, small outdoor electronic devices, mobile phones, PDAs, cameras, lighting, etc. So I guess this is something you would carry with you if you're biking or hiking or something like that. And you need to have some backup power, but you don't want to have the weight of a battery, I guess. So you just get some clean water, maybe out of a stream and dump it in here and it's going to work. Add a spoonful of electrolyte to 400 milliliters of water, stir thoroughly until dissolved, and then pour into the liquid adding chamber. Now they give you a 30 milliliter measuring cup. What I'd like to see right off the bat is that you pour liquid into here, and there would be a mark on here to tell you how much to pour in, and there isn't. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a measuring cup and measure 400 milliliters, which is about one and two thirds cup of water, I guess. You may also use edible salt as a neutral electrolyte. I have some non-iodized salt, which I think might be better. And we've got a simple Pyrex measuring cup. And I'm guessing that the water level you can mark on the bag for future use. Add a spoonful of electrolyte to 400 milliliters of clean water, stir thoroughly and dissolve. This is gonna be a little fun only because there's no way to let this stand. Try not to spill any like I just did. Okay. It's like doing a, an experiment here. Okay, so that fills it up to that level right there. I could make a, a oh, look at that, it will stand. Well, what do you know? I could make a mark with a Sharpie there. I probably would. 
And now we want to add one spoonful, about 45 grams of electrolyte. There's no funnel to do this. Nice. Okay. Well, <laughs> here we go. Watch this, folks. We're going to try to not... <clears throat> I guess if you're out in the woods doing this, you're going to end up with a mess anyway. <laughs> that's going to be... Uh, well, that's going to be something you're going to do. We're going to stir it up this way. Make sure we get all the salt mixed in. Now, let's see what it says here. <laughs> it's kind of fun, a little experiment here. Uh, let's see. Stir thoroughly till dissolved and then pour into the liquid chamber. All right, so this is pretty well mixed up. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in here. And I suppose, you know, you could do this in a stream or something, or not in a stream, but with water from a stream, especially if you've got, you know, some kind of water purification or at least water filtering device. Got that done. Put that on there. And then we're gonna stick this in here. Okay. That there. Voila, we are done. Now. What do we do? <laughs> Sit and wait. Fingers are a little salty. And wait, oh, one to two minutes before, wow, one to two minutes, really? <laughs> okay. We'll uh, flip up the tabs that we can flip up. While we're waiting that one to two minutes, I'm gonna drop these guys back in here. Cause you got nothing better to do than sitting here while you're waiting for your one to two minutes for things to take effect. We'll put this back in here. But this is kind of cool. I mean, I used to do a lot of hiking and honestly, I never worried about having a cell phone that worked or anything else when I was hiking, but I know that's a, a pretty big deal. There we go. People got to have cell phones and everything else. I would say that if you are going to use something like this, you're going to want to put some salt in there so that you've got your electrolyte. Oh, guess what folks? I don't know if you could see that, but there's a green light right there. So we've been just sitting here for not even two minutes. So I'm going to push the on button. Oh, there's a fan going too. On the screen here, it says fuel dash SOC, which is state of charge, 100%. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can charge my cell phone with it. We're at 90%. I plugged it in. Look at that, folks. We are charging. Now it says 20 minutes to full charge. Here's my first thoughts. The double press button to get it to go into performance mode doesn't seem to do anything on USB-A. So I'm not sure what performance mode is supposed to mean. It says the max output is 15 watts, but I'm not getting 15 watts. So, now it says five minutes. Holy cow, folks, guess what? My phone, oh, well, guess what? My phone just went to fully charged, 100%. So, <laughs> I don't think that the display is very accurate. I'm only, you know, I, I mean, if I'm seeing only three watts, and my phone was telling me at first it was gonna need an hour, then it was gonna need 20 minutes and 45 and then it dropped to 20 and then 12 and then boom it was done and it says it's fully charged now it did take my phone from 90 percent to 100 percent really quickly like i don't think that was more than 30 seconds to a minute at most so that was very fast and if you're out in the woods that's going to make a difference so in that regard i'm impressed that's good i mean you put some salt in you put some clean water in boom, you give it a couple minutes and you're charging up your cell phone because your cell phone was dead and you didn't need to have a battery full of electrolyte to do that. You'd have it nice and dry, it's in your backpack, away you go and it works great. I think that's awesome. I will say that the fit and finish is, I guess it would depend on the price of the unit. If the unit is fairly inexpensive and I'll drop a price up here for you to check out because I'm not sure what the price is. But if it's fairly inexpensive, well, that could be great. I mean, the fact that I broke it, I blame myself and my thumb brace, 
but I would change these tabs on the side so that they're easy to remove with a finger because I can't easily pop these out. So I think that needs to be changed. In all honesty, it kind of feels a little cheap, but on the other hand, it works actually pretty well, it seems. I think it's a cool unit. Put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Is this something that has a use in today's world? Is it cool? Is it something you'd like to check out yourself? Let me know in the comments. And I want to take a moment to thank all my members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Folks, I'm going to drop another video right over here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out. I'm going to let this charge up.